Ah, ha, ha. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. The first stop on my around the world trip is the island country and city state of Singapore. Known best for being a filthy rich international business hub, its ban on chewing gum and its absolutely mind boggling airport. Lying just one degree north of the equator, it provides the perfect stopping point when traveling to the other side of the world. I visited Singapore with my family when I was a kid, and I decided to stop here for a few days to catch up with some university friends, see what's changed, and break up my flights to Australia. I arrived in Singapore after a whole day's travel, and the first thing I noticed was the heat. Due to its equatorial proximity, it is no surprise that temperatures hover between a sticky 28 to 34 degrees all year round. I took a short but sweaty metro ride from the airport to Clark Quay, which was the metro station closest to the hostel I was staying at. I spent some time getting settled into my hostel and took a quick nap, and awoke to a message from my friend Waverly, who had invited me to go out for some food. I headed downtown for a feast, with the main event of the signature Singapore chili crab. Many restaurants in Singapore are street food style, and although they can look a little shabby on the outside, they mostly have good hygiene ratings and the food is actually really tasty, with some stalls even getting Michelin stars. After a crab stuffing, I was certainly ready for another nap before a big day of adventuring. Jet lag. Fuck. It's 5.30am and I am wide awake and ready to explore. What is an acceptable time to start walking around a city? I sat in my bed and admired my Tinder options. What? What the fuck? Before deciding enough was enough, I am going out there and doing stuff. Good morning. It's about half six. Um, I'm in Singapore. My body clock is completely fucked. So I thought I'd just get up and go and see some shit whilst it's still a bit cooler. Yeah, I don't actually know where I'm going. Juiced up and ready to rumble, I headed towards the Botanic Gardens. We out here in the Botanic Gardens. Go and look at some more fucking plants. I don't really go to gardens in the UK, so. I guess this will be fun. Now this place is huge, stretching 2.5 kilometers from top to bottom and is widely used by the locals as a place to relax, play with swords and walk the dogs. Now on top of that, it is also crammed full of plants, including the largest tropical orchid collection. Unfortunately, I don't really know what to do in gardens. This is a recurring theme I found on my travels. Is it like a zoo for plants and you just go around and read all the signs? What I really hope to see is some like cool animals just hidden around here. But it's not a zoo, so I think the likelihood of that is pretty small. I did end up treating it like a zoo, getting excited whenever I saw any wildlife. Look, it's a squirrel! The coolest thing I saw was the monitor lizard, which can grow up to three meters long, a venomous, and have been known to attack humans. Neat. This garden is the bee's knees. <laughs> I headed to the Free Heritage Museum, which teaches you about the history of the gardens. There's lots of information, very interesting. However, the most notable thing I found was that a lot of Singapore's infrastructure in shipping and banking is owed to the cultivation and growth of rubber plants in the garden. After being so big brain, I had developed a hunger that could only be quenched by Indian food. How fortuitous that Singapore is a very multicultural country with a large Indian population. So off I trotted to Little India. Now I've not been to Big India yet, but I imagine it is just as colourful and crazy as what I experienced. I wasn't feeling adventurous enough yet to enjoy the goat brain or goat intestines, but I scoffed down a chicken curry and went on my merry way. I decided to swing by the merlion statue before heading back to my hostel. What is a merlion, I hear you ask? Well, it is a mythical creature, the official mascot of Singapore, with the head of a lion and the body of a fish. One of the more awkward things about travelling alone is that sometimes you want a really lovely picture for your memories. So you have to ask people to take photos of you. So yeah, trying to explain to a couple that I wanted them to take a photo so it looked like the merlion was spitting in my mouth was not easy. But with my beautiful memory stored in picture form, I moved on. Next stop, Gardens 2, Electric Boogaloo. 
The gardens by the bay are only 10 years old but have quickly become a tourist symbol of Singapore. Built on reclaimed land, these gardens span over 250 acres and were developed to boost the quality of life and greenery in the city. These gardens have loads going on, including lakes, greenhouses, waterfalls. However, I was feeling pretty gardened out from earlier, so there was only one thing I was really interested in seeing. The super trees. These vertical gardens consist of vines, orchids and ferns and offer a great viewpoint of the gardens from a raised walkway. As I stood on the walkway and admired the view, my eyes locked on the next target. Marina Bay Sands This behemoth of a hotel has 2,561 rooms, a 1.3 million square foot convention center, an 800,000 square foot mall, restaurants, museum, theater, the world's largest atrium casino. And I didn't see any of that. No lol, I went and stood on the roof. Standing just shy of 200 meters, you can get a great view of the Singapore skyline from the Sands Sky Park. You can also enjoy being judged by the rich hotel guests who get to sit slightly higher than you and sip on cocktails whilst checking out the povos below from their 150 meter long infinity pool. Views viewed. But the day wasn't over yet. What will I get up to? Haha, <laughs> you'll have to wait and see. Will I go to a nightclub and dance to the crazy frog? What will I find in the Singapore airport? And will I make it out of the country alive? Okay, yeah, I, I, I do because I'm making this video. But you'll have to find out in part two of my travels in Singapore.